Alrighty, I'm going to try to make this salmon grill real quick. This king salmon, show you how I do that. The young fellow Nathan asked me to do this, so this is how I'll do this as well. Lay out this thing here. Orangey smells fish, so he's trying to call you in the door. I got this covered with a page protector. So it doesn't oil up my picture. This is I cut this out of an Alaska magazine. Oh, years and years ago. Alaska Outdoors, I guess it is. So, anyways, this is what I'll how I'll start out. La 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 la. Got my clay rolled into little ropes put one across the tail put a fin on the back another little fin over here put another one in here and uh, What do you want? And then I put another one here. Had that shut for a reason. <laughs> this goes two fins down here. I'll put this out over here. And I think that goes there, so we'll try this. One more here, one more here. Okay, now that we got the outline done. Peel it off. And we'll put this back up where it was. Silver salmon? No, king salmon. Sure, they're thicker than this soil. Put this up here. Another one here. See if we can get this working out there. We're just gonna guess at how white this fish is. Manipulate with the fingers. Yeah. Squish her down. Put the fins in place a little bit too soon, I reckon. And 
Jimmy crack corn. I don't care. Jimmy crack all the corn he wants. And we'll check her against the... We're getting way bigger than our fish down here. But we still got a proportion somewhat right. So... Yeah, it's getting much larger than... The, I'm working on. And a disclaimer, I haven't ever sculpted fish before, so it's a first for you and me. I did, however, make a plastic mold, a plaster mold, of a salmon a guy gave me one time. And then I made some latex rubber casts of the one side of the fish. Because I only casted one side. I only did a plaster cast of one side of that fish. So I was just learning. So you can do a lot of a lot of things by trial and error. That's why I've never been to got me in a lot of trouble at some of my jobs because I'm not scared to try something new for the first time. So This side over, this side over, and of course that doesn't look quite enough for a fish head. Gotta warm it up. gills again Lots of finger work. So I went up some more. Put some more clay down here. 
make them fatter. Make them a little thicker through the body. Try to stay in the camera. Try to stay in the camera. There we go. Maybe that'll help now. jaw is just a little bit too narrow I believe so we'll try to make it a little wider something like a I guess how's that look better now we better do the top too I suppose Looking at my reference, trying to make it accurate. You know, we could do this so it's like this chum salmon down here too. That's pretty. I like the big humpy noises on them like this here. So maybe we'll switch over to that. Maybe that's what I might do because that's more dramatic. And it's more fascinating. So, right in the middle of the sculpturing, I might just do that. Put a big hook jaw on them. Put a hook nose on them. Almost looks like a snapping turtle. Well, not quite, but. You know what I mean? And we'll give him some more up here. Give him a hump back. Try to keep him in the picture. Keep him on the camera. Try to do a little better job than I did last time. And it's not too bad, but you get the idea. And then, and then, I can find my other stuff here. Once again, unprepared. Unprepared. Try to save the day. Tools. Get out my sculpting tools. And we'll put a fin back here. Quickly, quickly now, before the camera runs out of steam. Put that one back here. And it's kind of flat. Something like that. Something like that. Keep it in the camera here, Bob. There we go. And then we'll throw a little round fin on the back. This one right back here. Something like that. Then we'll put another one, flat one up in here. Triangle one. I'm trying to do it with my fingers. Put one in here. 
triangle going the wrong way. Something like that. There. As good as that one's going to get. And then there's going to be a couple in the back here. in the front it's a little large maybe a little smaller so we started out doing one kind we did another start out trying to do a king salmon and we ended up doing a silver salmon in spawning phase then we'll put one here. I think it's another one on the other side. We'll smooth it out a little bit more. A little bit more. Try to do our best to smooth it out. Tail's a little big, so we'll cut off a little bit like that with our finger and thumbnail. Maybe a little off this side too. Yeah, I like that. So, anyways, then I like to put the eyeball in. I don't know if I got anything small enough for that, but here's the eyeball. We'll put the eyeball right. Well, no, maybe it's too far forward or back. So we'll put it right there. How about that? We'll put it right there. And put another one right here, right about here. So there we have a silver salmon in spawning phase. And one other thing I was going to show you people was I make these things to hold my sculptures. Well, first we'll look at the spawning phase of the silver salmon we'll look at this one yeah, it's not too far off this is pretty lumpy bumpy but anyways what i do is i make these things with some pipe flanges put them on a two by four and then i can set my sculpture on it like that as you can see and uh i'm bringing it closer so you can see it better but that way you can set your sculpture someplace else or you could spin it around and work on it if you'd like in front of yourself and uh, I made up a few of these this one I got some more I'll show you 